Welcome, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to deploy a Dash app to the web in a very, very fast way using Render and Dash Tools. Dash Tools was built by Andrew, a Plotly Dash community member, and we're going to use this package to communicate with Render and deploy the app on Render so we can share it with anybody around the world. So the first thing is to go to your uh, app and just make sure it works. You run it and make sure that your app is running correctly and that there's no there's no mistakes. I have a table, um, a rain slider, and then I'm, I allow the user to download a CSV sheet of the table of the table data. So the app works. So now the next step is to go back to your file and you'll see that uh, my app is inside the deploy with render directory that is um, that has a src file and folder and it's inside the src folder and this is important all right so we're going to stop the app we're going to go to the terminal and now we have to do pip install dash tools so you can install this this package all right so install dash tools I'm not going to do it because I already installed Dash Tools. And the next step is to do git init. This is an important step to initialize a git repository in this folder, in the folder where the app exists. Not in the source folder, but in the deploy with render folder or whatever you name it. All right, so we have git. And now we just do dash tools. GUI so we can actually start the dash tools um, GUI. So to start this, we are going to copy the uh, path of the file. So we'll go to the main folder, right click, copy path, copy absolute path, and put that in here. All right. You can also copy path by going to your Windows machine and double clicking on all of this, copying it, and this is the path as well. All right, so open file, and that will show us everything here that needs to be prepared before we click on deploy to render to deploy this app to the web. So this is what's wonderful about Andrew's Dash Tools package is that it makes it a lot easier um, to deploy an app to the web, and uh, you don't have to manually create stuff. We will create this automatically. So first. This is green because our app.py file is inside the source folder. So just make sure your app.py file is inside the source folder. If not, move it in there. Now, if you try to create a render.yml file, it would say, warning, the app name is required. So we'll go down here and we'll render an app name. You can just choose whatever name you want, my cool app. Don't choose that name because it's not unique. You want to make sure you choose a unique name. I'm just going to do render automatically. Just come up with a random name. Perfect. That works. So now I can generate a render.yml file and I can generate the requirements.txt file. And you see it's generating because you can see it is generating here and you can oh it's these two are green and you can also go to the uh, terminal to PyCharm and you can see that these two files were generated. Requirements.txt file is what render will use to understand what packages to install in order to run uh, the app successfully. I'm going to delete Plotly because this automatically comes within Dash. So unless you want a specific version, you don't have to say install Plotly. And then render dot, uh, dot, uh, yml file. This is just instructions for for render to uh, create a free tier, um, to use the requirements.txt file to install the packages, and to use gunicorn with app server. This is app colon server because the app name is app.py. If this is a different name, this would be let's say my my app. This would have to be my app. Okay. So save, Python 3.10, close, close. Make sure we save it. Good. 
And now we can go to the next step. Uh, let's actually do this. Let's skip GitHub and let's do server. This is red because this line of code needs to be inside your app file. So we'll copy it. And it has to be under this line of code where you instantiate dash, then just put this. Okay, you'll see now that this is green. So one last step before clicking on this button, we have to push this app into a, a public GitHub repository. Um, all of this, the deploy with render, this whole folder where all my app and requirements and files exist, we have to push everything into GitHub. So to do that, we are going to go into GitHub. We're going to create a new public repository. Click on new, give it your repository name, my render charming data app. No need for description for now. Keep it public and no readme file for now. Create repository. And now it will give you the instructions of how to finalize the creation of the repository. So I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to copy this here. Go into the terminal. Open a new terminal because this one is the dash GUI, tools GUI. Make sure you're inside your correct folder where all the app files exist. Deploy with render and copy paste. And this um, is actually creating a readme file and committing it and pushing it. Let's click enter into GitHub. So this will finalize the creation of the GitHub repository. If we refresh, now you'll see we have a GitHub public repository with the readme file. But it's not ready. It may look ready because it's green here, but it's not ready yet because you actually need to push you need to push all the the app files into the GitHub repository. Because render is going to communicate with this repository and upload everything from the repository to re the render server. So you have to have your app files here. So we'll go back and we'll do git add comma dot and then we'll do git commit and the message will be adding all my app files and then we'll do git push git add git commit git push now we'll do this again at the end to update our app refresh and now we see we have everything with the requirements files and everything that's needed all right, so now it's ready, and now we can deploy to render. We'll click on this. It will open a render API um, uh, web page. We'll ju choose a group name. It doesn't matter. Dash app charming data, and then apply. Now this takes about four to five minutes the first time, usually four minutes. Um, so I'm going to uh, pause the video and restart it as soon as this is ready. Let me just, where is the pause button? It's a new keyboard. Okay, pause. All right, so it looks like this is done. We can click here and it will take us to deploy a lot. Well, actually, the website is here, so you can click on this. And now you see that our app works. We have a rain slider. It changes, it updates the um, data table, and you can actually download the data table as a CSV sheet onto your computer. And this is a link that you can share with anybody on the web. Now, let's see how we um, redeploy uh, a new update to our app. So if we go here, um, this is the main uh, dashboard. In the main dashboard, this is where our app is, dot offering, is this the name of the app? Yeah, this is the name of the app. And now what we'll do is we can manual deploy, manually deploy the latest commit. So let's do one more commit to update the title of the app. So right now, what do we have? Let's go back to, let's run this app. And let's see what we have. This is our app on our machine. Whoops, that's not good. 
oh it's running on the same it's running on the same terminal let's change this to port 871 because it's running on the same terminal as as dash GUI all right so we have an app gapminder data let's make this title gapminder data download let's take out the word filtered so we'll go here gapminder data download we'll capitalize save make sure it works on our computer and now that we see that it works we're going to close the apps go back don't forget to change this just delete the port so it's a regular 850 port and now we have to re uh, uh, push this uh, app to github if you go in here source app you'll see that the title is still the old title so we have to re-push this to github so we'll go here and we'll do git add and we'll do git commit and the message will be updated updated title and then we'll just do git push and we know this works because if you go to our um, github source go to app.py you'll see that now the title is got minor data download so it worked and now that we have um, our latest commit you can see here the latest commit this is the latest commit about two seconds ago you see that we uploaded the title that modify the title so you can go back you can close dash GUI you don't need this anymore you can go back to the dashboard of your app and you can do manual deploy deploy latest commit and this will deploy the the latest update which is this one right the change of the file the change of the title so let's go back let's look it's actually rebuilding everything uh, it's going to take all the requirements folder from from github to install all the packages that need to be installed uh, and redeploy this this app to the web so we'll see you in about four minutes I have to find that pause button okay so that is it it's done deploying starting service and now if you click on this you'll see that we have the app that works and it has the new title that we pushed into our github repository um that is pretty much it you can always use the logs to see if you have any like error messages or things that came up um and events remember if you want to redeploy just go to push push a change to your to your github repository and then just do manual deploy deploy latest commit i hope you enjoy i hope this was beneficial if you have any questions please under the the youtube video in the comments also if you're interested i am on patreon so feel free to join me on patreon i welcome you we have uh, i have like many different articles and videos stuff that i put here publicly and for the uh, patrons uh, that support me and that's really it always remember we are better together so help each other out good luck with your dash app deployment bye, -bye.